Thank you. Hi everyone, Xandra from Scrubs to Beauty. How are you guys? Hi Heather. Hi Jenny. <laughs> Hi Army. Candy. Who else do we have? Dottie. Hi Army. I said that right? Yep. How are you guys? Oh my gosh, I'm exhausted today. Hi, picture this. I um, went back to the flea market. It was raining last week, so I couldn't get those um, War World. Oh, hi, Patty. You have a black screen. Refresh, Heather. But um, I had turned my. I push the recording, so let me get this out of the way. So I'd go back to the auction to get some more of those spats because I turned my spats into my corset. So I'll show you that first. You tried that? Oh no. Can you see me now, Heather? guys can see me though, right? Alright, so. If you saw my um, picture on Facebook, you might saw my little sneak peek for my um, Soiree Fascinator hat. So, can you guess what my theme was by my hat? I don't know if you guys could guess it or not. <laughs> so, first I'm going to show you um, my stats. So remember I bought these. Hi Bunny. <laughs> I bought these um, last week and so then my friend wanted a pair too so I bought these. And what I did was instead of using them on my legs like this, I turned them around and I'm using it as my corset. So it's not all the way finished yet but I'll show you parts of it. So let me get it here. So here you can see, I took the lace, and originally was going to use it for my spats, for my leg, but hi, Blissful. <laughs> but um, once I thought about it, I'm like, oh my god, this probably, with these lines, would make a perfect corset. So I turned it upside down, and that's what I did. So, oh, I have to tape this one here. So this was all laces that I got from the um, flea market. And then it has um, fancy pearls on the bottom. <laughs> so that's one side and that's the other side. Oh, here's the other side. It's the same thing. But I needed two more because this is just for the front and the kind of the side. And then I needed two more for the back. And then I got two for my feet. So I'll work on my feet. <laughs> Thank you, Blissful. So did you guys guess what my theme was? My first, actually it wasn't, I was only going to have one outfit. But then with Catherine with her four wigs and four outfits. And <laughs> thank you, Heather. Um, I was like, oh my gosh, I have to have another outfit. So I wound up going to Joanne's and I went in the clearance section there. And by chance they happened to have this fabric. So this is my skirt. Hi, Ella. Thank you, Ella. I'm going to put some more pearls and some more beads and stuff on there. So, um, where's my other piece? Oh, I'm missing a piece. Hold on. So, if you haven't guessed what my theme was, it's, can you see it? See my nails? <laughs> Zebra. So then I have a little, so then this is my long skirt. Then this is my zebra print that I found. There's Dawn. <laughs> so that, it has like a little skirt. So it's like half a little skirt. So it kind of looks like this. Let me get a piece of paper. <coughs> so it's a long skirt. 
and then it has like a short little skirt like that so that's what the zebra print is here and then I have a vest and I have big puffy white sleeves but so my vest is this isn't this cool I found it in the clearance section I couldn't believe it when I saw it and now my nails match so good with it doesn't it my first time doing the zebra one so <laughs> So that's what it looks like. So that's my vest. Then there's the little skirt. And then this is the long skirt. And the corset, the other corset is for my other outfit. It's not for this outfit. So that's that. And then for my hat. I made my hat completely out of craft text. And those of you, if you still want to make a fascinator, that's the fastest way. Um, with the craft text. I, oh, you're not supposed to spill the beans, Dawn. <laughs> yes, I still, but I made a second outfit. Strike what Dawn said. Pretend you didn't see it. <laughs> yes, because, Dawn, because with Catherine and her four wigs and her four outfits, I was like, oh my gosh, I could have another outfit. So I made another one. <laughs> Now, I, I used to wait till you see Dar's outfit. Dar's outfit is, like, amazing. So, um, oh, you really can see it with the light. There, let's see. See, that's the long skirt, and this is the zebra one, and then this is my vest in here. And then, as you moved it, good. <laughs> that's okay <laughs> so now um so i wound up going to the fabric store and i saw the zebra print you know you guys know i love zebra print so i made my fascinator i made both fascinators out of craft text so that stuff is amazing i didn't have to use any uh i didn't sew it i glued it all i didn't use any um what do you call it um stiffener or anything <laughs> So this is my first hat. This will be the hat that I'll be wearing when I go walk into the hotel and then Thursday night. And then Friday is when I'll have my other full outfit to walk the catwalk. No, I used a pattern. It was super easy um, from this girl here. Let me put her link. Her, her pattern is really, really easy. And she gives you... Um, a soft, you could use a small one, a medium, mine is a medium, or a large one. And she also has a pattern for you guys if you wanted to do um, ornaments. They were they're like really tiny, the fascinators. Hi, Sophie. So, all right. So, oh, when I went, I had to finish my, um, I bet. <laughs> I had to finish this fastener. I didn't have any black trim for the, um, for the top of the hat and I wanted some more feathers and when I went to the flea market can you believe I actually found it so I'll start here so this is my fascinator so there's my name and this is actually the front it goes like this and then can you see what's on there <laughs> And so, and then it has this feather here. Thanks, Jenny. And I have the big zebra flower underneath here. And then I have these metal ones in here. And then I put the, um, the cherry lind dye here and here. <laughs> Thank you. And then under back here is another um, another metal flower underneath here, and a leaf. And then I put this little watch here, and the gears. Some more gears. Actually, I could put it in with the clips, or I could put it in. I'll show you underneath. And you see, I um, embossed it with the zebra print, and then I took some of the ink of gold. <laughs> yours isn't going to dawn and then I put some uh, bling of course and some gold flowers and then the top I want to do something else with the top I mean it's just kind of plain but <laughs> no 
it's not. And then see, here's my vest. I put, took a strip of the material and I put it on there. Come on, there it is. So it has my name on there. So you can read, recognize me right away. I want to have beads in there. See the little beads? I embossed it. I had a um, an embossing zebra folder, and I put the craft text through that. So you see how the beads in there? And this is a trim that I got today at the flea market. Isn't that pretty? And then this is my little zebra here. And then I just put some um, Inca gold on her. There we go. And then the bottom, what I did was um, I added this, and there's a loop. So I could either put a headband, which I'm going to use, or I can use one of those big clips. I think I have one in my pocket. Oh, thank you. So it goes like this. See? You just clip it on. But um, it's... It's not top. It's not too heavy. I mean, I'm afraid with just the clip. So I actually have a headband and I'm going to use a clip both. Oh, thanks, Patty. So, the, so that's how it'll be. So it's like that. Can you see it? I'll try to get the whole thing in there for you. Oh my gosh, the flea market is like, oh my god, I love that flea market. It's in Pennsylvania. It's near Lambertville, Pennsylvania. It takes me like an hour to get there. It was so hot today, I only stayed an hour and it took me an hour to go home. <laughs> Hi, Linda! <laughs> so, and then it has a, a big, uh, not a big bow, but a little bow with some tails. The tails hanging out here. Mm hmm you love the flowers? The zebra flowers? I love the feathers that I got today. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. I think it's like ostrich feathers. Like, you know, one of those dusters? Kind of looks like that. And then there's more flowers, more metal flowers underneath there. More beads. There. Come on. Focus. There we go. You can see all the beads. So that's my fascinator. <laughs> yeah, me too. I couldn't believe I found that. Um, I, that I like them because they're little. Because, you know, some of them are so big you have to actually cut them down. That's what I had to do with this one. Because I only had this one on there before. And then when I found those at the auction today, I can believe she only charged me a dollar for them. Oh my gosh, I was so happy. <laughs> Thanks, Heather. So that is my fascinator. So what else did I have to show you? Oh, well, that's all for the sneak peeks on that. Next week, I will show you um, my other outfit. I'll show you my other fascinator. That's the one I'm going to enter into the contest, so you guys will have to vote for me for that. So I'm hoping that I can win the fascinator, and I hope Dar wins the, con the uh, costume. <laughs> so... Yeah, I love it. My little zebra. I love it. And my little zebra nails. Thank you. Of course, this thumb one, I broke it today. I've been trying to grow them long, but... <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> yeah, I like the way it came out a lot. I'm not happy with the top, but I love everything else. <laughs> Thank you, guys. And it's super easy. I did the, um, with her pattern, I mean, I just used the fabric tack with the craft text. And it's just three pieces. It's just the um, top part and the bottom and then the top. I know, won't the photos be so good of everyone? And then um, you just glue it. And then I just held it together with, um, with a clip, you know, the bullnose clips. And um, it was fine. So tonight, you know, they're, we're making ATC cards, so ATCs are like two and a half by three and a half, so you could use it, um, you could use this as a book. I mean, it's not real, I made the whole thing out of, um, craft text. Well, I didn't make it, but we're going to make it tonight. 
So let me put this away and then I'll go grab that stuff. I don't like about doing mixed media is like you have to, there's so much stuff that um <laughs> I have like everything all over because I just don't have enough room hi Gwen hi Pen. so let's see what do we have here oh, so this is going to be the book Oh, I have my AC shoes to show you, too. We have this. This was another piece of lace that you gave me from the auction. And I love this piece. This is a piece I got from there, too. Isn't that pretty? That. And she gave me, like, a whole bunch of stuff for, like, $7. This is a little handkerchief. What kind of shoes are you wearing? I'm wearing um, their boots. Well, my first outfit for this outfit, the zebra one, I have these. Um, remind me at the end, maybe I can go get them. They're um, kind of like a camel color, but on the sides, it's all lace. It's all lace. It's really pretty. Dar wanted them. She loved them, she said. <laughs> Dawn, I want to use these tonight, so you have to help me tell me what to do with these. So I have this, this, I just put everything in a box. I didn't get back in until late, so um, I have like my stuff all over the place tonight. Um, canvas binding water gears <laughs> yeah he hasn't actually saw them he loved the um the spat he thought that was very cool that I turned it um into a corset beads might need some more flowers. And I want to use I'm gonna use this somewhere in time, I think. So we'll see. I have like three or four different bags up here, so this. Start off with that first. Oops, I'm falling apart. Oh, good, and I have the measurements too for you, in case you guys want to do it. Oh, and look what else I found. She gave me these for a dollar. Look at these. You missed the part that the corset was originally? Oh, I'll show you. They were um, War, World War II. Um, yeah, they're not spats. They're called um, leggings. The things went over their boots, the soldiers' boots. Yeah, army spats, yeah. And he had the last three today, and I bought them. But look. Aren't these cool? For a dollar. I couldn't believe she gave me these for a dollar. I think they're like so cool. What are army spats? <laughs> I'll show you.
See these one I'm protected over their legs. I bought the spats two weeks ago and I made the spats last weekend. And then see this goes underneath your foot like that so your boot or your foot would go here. And then they tied these, I guess, I really don't know how they tied these, but I'm assuming that this just went like this. And you clipped them on. It's like super hard to get them in there. But see how, how that's how they did them. Like that. Hi, Angel Bug. So, and, um, yeah. And so, like, this is too regular. Where is this from? doesn't really say where it's from but yeah can you imagine them having to lace them all up like that what a pain so yeah and so this is really supposed to go on your feet like that but the way it curves like this I'm like I turned it upside down and I'm like look at that you can make a corset out of it so that's what I did so um, what I did was I'm gonna tie it in the front so it'll go like this and the front has lace that goes like this and then I'm gonna have lace in the back in the back here to connect these two so oh, yeah that's true I will <laughs> so those are I call them spats but even when the guy was there today he didn't have them out and I said are you the guy that sold the spats he goes you mean the army leggings and I'm yes <laughs> So I said yes, the army leggings. <laughs> so, thank you, Angel Bug. <laughs> well, Ella, I need at least four of them. So, I'm sure Dawn probably only needs two. That girl's so skinny. But it's still it's weird because this these were a size two which fit around my husband's leg which didn't fit around mine and then one today I got today was a size three and that one actually fit around my leg. <laughs> All right, so let me clean this up and I'll show you what we're gonna do. I started it a little bit just so that we could have a little bit of head time. So I, I'm gonna just, I think I'm gonna put canvas on here. I just can't decide whether I should, I kind of like the beige, but let me show you first with it before I do this. So this is the craft text. So you can see it's kind of like um, chipboard, the thickness, I don't know if you could see it. Let's see. Let me get my finger up here so you could see it. See, it's kind of like chipboard but it's very soft and it bends a lot. There it is. And so what I did was I based it on these, um, oh, the page protectors from the Simple Stories. So these fit the um, my ATC cards. So here, I'll show you my ATC cards. This is the one. That's one of them. Come on, focus. There we go. Yes, kind of like grunge board. Yes, Angel Bug. Yep. And then here's my other one. There we go. Thank you. Thank you, Angel Bug. Hi, Ash. <laughs> oh, you're having a storm. Oh, no. Be careful. Hi, Aunt Maggie. You missed all the previews. I did just showed my ATC cards. So that was these. And then this was my hat. I'll show it to you real quick. Of course, it's zebra. So that's my little fascinator. It's got beads and it's got gears and I embossed. This is all done with craft text and then I um, rubbed it with the Inca gold. And then um, flowers and my little zebra. 
So, feathers that I got today at the auction. And then this has skiers in the back. Oh, thank you, Gwen. And then it has my name. I actually spelt out my name. So you could see it there. <laughs> And then this is my best. <clears throat> it's a zebra print. And so that's my hat. And then it has a long tail in the back. Not long, but pretty long. Yeah, did you see Jim's baseball cap last night? Wasn't it cool? It came out really good, didn't it? He made one for him and one for Caesar. So I'm debating now whether I am going to, right now I'm, I'm going to go by this, but I really want to make pages for these, um, but that's how I base this on. So this will go in here like this, I'll punch a hole here like that, this will go in here like that, and then this will come over like this. So that'll, it looks like a bill, bill fold. So... And then what I did was I attached this uh, ribbon here, so what it'll do is it will tie like this. So if you wanted to do it out of craft text, I'll give you the measurements. And then if you don't, I can give you the measurements how you could do it out of um, paper. So if you're using the craft text, you need 20 and a half by 8 and a half. That's how I made this. Oh, let me get you off out of focus. Um, here, there, there we go. Yeah, Jim was on Ustream last night, Gwen. He was on 8 o'clock my time, like this time. Um, till about, I guess he was on till about 9.30, 10 o'clock, something like that. He made a hat, and then he made, uh, I don't know, he was making another one. But he, what he did was he took a baseball cap from um, Hobby Lobby, and then he took uh, Big Giant Gears from uh, Tim's Gears and he put them all over the baseball cap and then he used the uh, Inca Gold three different ones. It was really cool. It came out good. You could watch his um, recording. Alright, so if you're going to make this out of craft text, you need 20 and a half long by 8 and a half tall. And then what you're going to do is you're going to score the right side, so that's this side, 5 and a half by 6 and a half. And then you're going to score the left side six and a quarter by seven and a quarter yeah he did record he record the beginning and then I think around 930 when he was getting ready to start the other one he stopped the recording so so that's what I did here I scored that and I based it on this here my seven inch because I wanted to make sure this fits in here because if I can't get to the pages at least I'll have this done and what I want to do is I want to put some gears or something on the top here because you'll see these fall out very easily. So I'll put washi tape on here and stuff. So but that's what that's how I base my measurements. And this is these measure these measure seven by eight and a quarter, about eight and a quarter. So, all right, let me put those away. And then I added a piece of seam binding. So then I just glued it here. I didn't glue it anywhere else. Just on the middle here. And then you can um, give his link if you can find it. Um, I allowed links. So what I did was, and I cut this, and what I want to do is I want this satin uh, this ribbon to come out through about an inch from here so we need to cut that let me get my pencil a pencil oh I wish I was a neat crafter <laughs> I'm not though there it is So 
So I'm going to come about an inch in. So about an inch in. So I want to cut it right about here. Slide it through here. And then I'll have to decide whether I want to do it all black or if I should just leave it the beige. I kind of like the beige. Yes, um, the ATC cards were all um, exchanging. Well, not all, but a lot of people are exchanging. Oh, where's my ruler? Probably have to cut this because um, it's sticky back. Okay, bunny. So I just want to make a this just a slight little slit. There we go. So now if you wanted to do this out of, um, let's say, chipboard, you would cut your chipboard. I cut these two panels in here an inch, and then this panel here is a 7 inch, and then this one is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 and a quarter, and then this one is should be 5 and a half. 5 and a half. And that would all be by eight and a half. So it'd be five and a half by eight and a half here, then one by eight, then seven by eight, one by eight, and then six and a quarter by, oops, sorry, eight and a half. Hi, Barry. <laughs> ah, I was so busy to, uh, there we go. Get to talk to Barry today. <laughs> So, and I can't believe I've gone through almost my whole roll of um, black craft um, craft text, and I finished my half a yard of my beige one. So, once we do that, I want to stick this in here, stick this through. Oh, you just got my text! I sent it like. Around 7.45, I think. You missed my hat. I'll have to show it again at the end. Okay. So I have that down. Like that. I know it's hard with the black for you guys to see. So what I'm going to do is... I don't have any of my clips here. I need to take this. I'm looking for my clips. <sighs> All right. Well, I'll just have to. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm just going to peel it. Peel it part of the way. Let me see. I wonder if I rub this. I, I want to get it on here straight, but get this through here too. Let's see. I think I'm going to just slightly score this and take this part off. Hi, Annette. There we go. I'm just going to pull that off. This way I can get part of it on.
Okay. And I don't know how well this is going to stick with the craft text, so we'll have to see. I hope it does. Might have to just go in with fabric after this anyway. So that comes through there like that. And I should move it over a little bit more. Yeah, this might not stick that well, so I might have to put it with fabric tack. We'll see. And I'm going to peel the rest of this off. So, that looks like it's on there pretty good. We're going to put some trim on there too anyway, so. Make sure I get the ends. Okay. And then I have a piece for this side. Just have to stick this down. And then I just cut this a quarter inch smaller all the way around. You have to be easy <laughs> with it, I can see. Good. I think it'll it'll stay. So we'll see. This is um, Ranger's um, sticky back canvas. Okay. So now we have that done. I want to cut my holes in here. Let me crop a dial. I think I'm going to go with, I don't know if I want the little one or the big one. I guess the big one. And I measure these holes with the page protectors. You could also do, um, what do you call it, um, paper and then do the um, book binding 
if you wanted. This way you could add as many pages as you wanted. If you wanted to make this like a journal book, you could do that. All right, so now we have our holes here. So we'll be able to put that through there. So now the decision is, oh, and what I want to do is, you know a lot of your journals have that elastic um, that comes through there. So in order not to get it full of you know, texture paint or whatever you want, if you want it still to look kind of brand new, this is just washi tape. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to cover it, the whole thing with the washi tape. So I'll fold it in here like this and then like this. Even my washi tape matches my nails. <laughs> oh my gosh, Catherine, how are you? Oh, I have to show you my hat. <laughs> All right, let me show Catherine my hat. <laughs> Here it is. You know I love the zebra stripes. So there it is, my little zebra. <laughs> So it's got Cherryland gears, and it's got the metal flowers, and it's got um, some ribbon. <laughs> ah, of course the feathers, so I'll have to make sure when I, when I hug you, I'll have to hug you on this side, not the feather side. <laughs> Hi, Dar! <laughs> and so then it has my zebra flower in here, and then... Um, has some gears in the back. It's got a little watch. And then has my name. I put my name all the way across like that. And it's all made out of um, craft techs. Mm, thank you. So I um, embossed the craft techs with the zebra um, embossing folder. And then I took antique gold out of there. Yeah. And then I have beads on the bottom. So this is my first one. And then I have... Um, Another fascinator that I'm not going to show till next week. But, yeah. No, I didn't make the zebra. This is just a little plastic zebra. <laughs> no, but it has all the gears. And then this is my vest here. This matches my vest. So, <laughs> Tars Jello. <laughs> and then it has a long tail here in the back and the little watch there. But, yeah. They come out good. And then I put a little thing at the bottom here where I could put a headband or a clip whatever I want it slides in and out <laughs> so that's that's my first one I can't I can't compete with you Catherine you have four of them <laughs> four I can't get over it I'll have to show her my corset while she's here And then I went to the um, flea market and I got these World War um, II um, army leggings. And so instead of doing them um, as a um, spat, what I did was I turned them upside down. And so this is going to be for my other costume and it's my corset. So it looks like this. I still have to add some more beads and stuff, but I mean this is the beginning of it. But, and then I got all the laces from um, the flea market. And then um, I have um, more lace at the bottom there. And some more pearls. <laughs> so that's my um, spat. Turned upside down. <laughs> and then, what else? Oh, and I have my little gloves. <laughs> I got these at the flea market for a dollar. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Look, Dar, for a dollar at the Lambert flea market. Aren't they cute? <laughs> Thanks. Thanks, Catherine. <laughs> um, and then this reminds me of your nail polish. That's a, that color, Tiffany blue-like. And then I, it's the first time I did my zebra uh, nails. I was practicing. So, <laughs> <coughs> <laughs> the, 
the, yeah, the corset. Oh my gosh, my husband couldn't believe that I changed it from spats to a corset. So, so I had to go back today to get um to get uh more corsets. So I got some for my feet, and then I got some for the rest of my back. So now I'm just going to cover this whole thing so it doesn't get um, anything uh, on it. You like my zebra nails? Thanks. <laughs> they were hard to do. Like up there, this hand's not so bad because I'm right-handed, but this hand you can see I was like, whew, too heavy on that one. So then next week, oh, you'll be busy at the hotel, but next week I'm going to show my other outfit, my other fascinators. So I have two fascinators. I'm still waiting for your measurements, too. You'll have to text me them. <laughs> well, I'm still going to use them as spats. I got two, two more pair today, so they were really cool. And now that I got the... Um, the other ones and he was all sold out I got the last three so that was nice yeah you have to be there by four o'clock yeah so you won't you'll be too busy to see but I'll I have my and that's the one I'm going to use for to enter into the contest so So see now, once you have this all covered, it doesn't matter if you spray it or anything like that or put texture paste, it'll still be like new. Okay, you're going to text me good. <laughs> the craft, I did both my fascinators out of the craft text. Oh my gosh, I loved it because you didn't have to line it with anything. You just had to, you didn't have to, you know, uh, I just used the one sheet. It was just like, it was awesome. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy Kathy ever found that. It's just like, I love it. <laughs> right, I'm covering it so it doesn't get all cooked up. All right. So, so now I'm debating. So I'm thinking I'm going to cover this side, I think, dark. But I might leave this side beige because I kind of like the contrast. But we'll see. Oh, I want to add some of this. Look at this lace that I got at the dollar. She gave it this to me. Actually, she gave me like four or five pieces. It was this piece, the piece that go around my hat. But I love this piece. So I want to put a little piece of this on here. So it'll go like this. I think that'll be good just like that so we can texture up here I'm going to put ATC's here and I'll probably put the year 2014 on the bottom here you have not art scrapped in so long Aww. aww dar you'll have plenty of stuff to scrap now on the weekend so I'm going to cut this here Let's see where's a good place to cut this because I want to not be able to lose some of these flowers at the edge here. So I'm going to just cut it in here, I think, in the middle. I want to come. I'll make sure I, I put enough on here. So there, there, and there. So let me cut this. You're happy again? Oh, that's good. Good, Dar. I'm glad. Dar and I are going to, I'm going to meet Dar, um, and we're going to take the ferry to go down. So, I've never been on that ferry, so it'll be cool. So, I have to get up early, like 5.30, because I have to be, she's like two hours from me, two and a half hours. And we have to be there like a half hour before the, um, the boat leaves. So... 
Yeah, I don't want to waste any of this lace, and I want to make sure I don't get it unraveled. Isn't it beautiful? And it's so hard to find black lace. And I think this is the first piece of black lace I've ever, actually ever found. There. And then I still have, look, and I have a nice big piece still. So I'm definitely going to use that. I think that's, oh my gosh, it looks so nice. We'll add that. We'll add some texture here. So let's see, what do I have? I have so many stencils. It's like so many stencils, and we only have just like this little bit to uh, <laughs> do. Yeah, so take our car on the ferry. So isn't that good? So I'm going to follow her because um, she's leaving on Sunday, and I'm staying with um, an extra day with Dawn. So I have the gears that we could put up there. I have these keys. Um, we could use these little dots. I like the little hearts and stuff. Of course, I have a zebra print. I like the doily. What to use? What to use is too many choices. <laughs> I have these gears, too. I wish this was the reverse. I just don't like that. I don't know. So much paste. So, and I have this. So, all right. So. And I also have this too, the wood green. We could put some of that on there. Because this kind of looks like zebra stripes a little bit. And it's smaller than that zebra one. So let's take that out. Um, could use these bigger gears. Although we only have a little spot here. So... Where's Bunny to tell me? Just pick one. Just pick one. <laughs> Maybe we'll do this one because it has those little dots. All right. So we go here and here. Let's see. Let's do that one. I don't know that one. Maybe not the keys. Hi, fairy. <laughs> All right. So I have an idea, so we're just going to do like this corner and down in here. We could still add some texture there because it'll come through that, but we'll see. Just slap it down. That's it, bunny. <laughs> All right. So let's see. If we do this, that'll give us some nice texture. Because we have that corner like that. We can actually stick that down like this. Now you think we should go with the gears? Or you think I should do something more like fancy? Like with the keys or something. Yes, Miss Deborah's uh, driving down from Canada. Alright, let me get my gesso. And we need our mat. I only have the small mat. I didn't want to bring the big mat out today. Um, I gotta get my gesso. I have that. We have some wood gears too we could put on there. <laughs> Make a scrapbook of the whole venture? <laughs> well, maybe. Where is my gesso? And that. Oh, I didn't show you what else I got at the auction. Look at this. This is an old scrapbook, but he didn't have anything in it. And gave me that for $2. Isn't it cool? It's like I would hate to do the front. <laughs> so maybe I could scrap it in here because these would be nice 4 by 6 photos or something. So we'll see. And then what else? Oh. 
Oh, I got these. She gave me those. Well, she didn't give them to me, but. I'm looking for my gesso. There we go. And I think I'm going to mix it up with some texture paste. It's an antique flea market, um, Ella. It, um, they sell like mostly antiques. Look at all those. Like eight of these. Isn't that cool? I love flea markets. I like to go a lot. I don't go with it. I haven't been in a while, but since we had this thing coming up, we did. Right, I'm going to add some of this texture. Um, I don't know where my homemade paste is. That's what I was looking for. My homemade paste. Did you see it? Anyone? <laughs> well, we'll mix it up with that. Oh, that sounds cool. She says they did custom laser pieces for the soiree projects. Wow, that's great. That's nice. All right, so I think we're going to go with this one. Because we only need a little piece. So let me get this. And I should have my, my spatula. Where is it? Let me plug you guys in while, I'm, while I have you here. Uh, I don't see it. Plug it in. Hold on. There we go. All right. I don't see my little spatula here. Oh, here it is. I'll have to use this one. I don't see my fiber Picastel one either. I'll have to use this one because I don't have anything else up here. This has some sparkle in it, so I don't know how that's going to work. I wish I could find my other one. Well, we'll use some of this. Gotta go see Mr. Lifeguard. Okay, some food. Thanks for stopping by, Catherine. See you tomorrow. And then see you in a week. Oh, I can't open this. Bye. Oh my gosh, I can't open it. <laughs> She's not a bushy girl. We don't need a lot of this. We have to go to your house, Annette. I want to. I want to. These days, I want to do the um, the longest mile flea market. I think that would be so much fun. Let me, let's see. All right. So let's see how this is. I'm gonna flip this over, and we're gonna put this in here like this. This is black um, gesso, and um, the only thing I have up here is this one. This is um, Sparkle Texture Effect by Martha. I was looking for my homemade paste, but of course I can't find it. This room is a mess. I have to clean it, but <laughs> that's another day.
There we go, not too bad. All right, so let me just wipe this up and then we'll blow we'll uh <laughs> blow dry it. We'll use the heat gun. <laughs> I can clean after the, the soiree. That's true. I figure by this weekend I can have everything done. And then Monday I can clean, hopefully. And then Tuesday I want to make my cookies. So I'm making my Cherry Garcia cookies for everyone. Well, not for everyone, but... <laughs> some paper towels. Hold on. One second. You have to do either a cookies or a fascinator. <laughs> do your fascinator. <laughs> okay, Barry. a little bit thicker than I would like, but it'll do. It was really fun going to Dars. <laughs> Is spot on the mat? Okay, I will. Thanks. It's still going to be a little damp, but we'll work around it for now. And then we don't need this. Mm -hmm. <laughs> oh, Dar's happy, happy. All right, and now what we're going to do is, where's the lace? sandwich this will cover
so that works out good and then I can put my title here <coughs> are you my for me my cookie or <laughs> your cookie or fascinator <laughs> uh, well both my fascinators are done so that's good so we'll put that down I think it needs some more print though in the back so what else can we do here I don't think I brought did I bring ink I'm looking for my ink pad. You know what I have? I have some tissue paper. We'll put some of that down before we put this down. You have to love yourself first, right, Thor? Mm -hmm. All right, so I'm going to use some of this tissue paper. We'll glue this down. And I've got my gel medium. And I'm just going to try to look for the postage, and there's some. Um, this looks pretty good right here. I'm just going to tear a piece. <laughs> Too deep? No. <laughs> yes, Dar, you are loved. find my gel medium. Whoops, I guess the air is on. <laughs> my gel medium. star all right so I let me use this brush so I'm just gonna tear some of I don't want the bird cages so I'm gonna add some of this writing on there So then once we have that down, I think this will look better. More vintage-y like. So let's glue that down. Oh, that air conditioner. probably going to dry so fast because I have the air right over me. Ha <laughs> ha. 
<laughs> yes, we are, Dar. Oh my gosh, I can't wait for them to see your outfit, Dar. And Miss Deborah's not here. If you um, are friends with um, Deborah, she's Miss Deborah, and she already posted her um, fascinator, and she has a music box for her fascinator. It's really cool. <laughs> Aw, thank you, Dor. <laughs> a little bit under here. All right. She has a, no, she doesn't have, she has a, just a Twitter page. Let me see if I could get it. You've got to see her hat. It's like so good. Oh, and I need water. Oh, I'm just not prepared today. Her name is Deborah. Write it for me, Dar. Deborah read something or other. <laughs> you wish you could do better. Oh my gosh, yours is good. Give me Deborah. Yeah, Deborah Renwick. Yeah. And so let me get the Twitter and then I can put it up there for you. Hold on one second. Let's see. D. D. R. Deborah Renwick. Okay. Hold on, I'm getting it. There. Take, oh, I have to take the S out of it. I always forget that. Hold on. That link is going to work. Because I have to take the S out. There. Try that one. You got to see her hat. And she's got a music box in it, too. It's awesome. I didn't put enough on there. All right, so that's almost dried. So what I'm going to do is I want to ink something on the edge here. Maybe I'll just use my my dauber. I'll ink the edges here. <coughs> Did you see your hat? It's really nice. Oh, I'm off camera. Sorry. I'm going to put this down. <coughs> I'll have to add this with Fabri Tech. It's a great hat, isn't it? Did we ever find out what music it was playing, Dar? Uh, I don't know what kind of music her music hat is playing. <laughs> I 
Yeah, it looks much better with the tissue paper, right? We could have stamped it and all that too, but it's quicker with the um, images already on there. You don't know the song? Me either. I don't know what it is. I didn't hear. I'm sure there's going to be a lot of cool costumes. I can't wait to see them all. And then I'm going to tack it in here too in the middle a little bit. Oh, I hate these strings. That's what Jim was complaining about too. <laughs> So that's pretty good. Doesn't that look good already? So now we'll have this and that. So I think what I'm going to do is I'll probably stamp something on this side. Or we could add some more paper on this side. I don't know what to think about it. But what I'd, I'd like to do is um, maybe put like a, a corset or something, a, a dress that I have. Let's see. I wanted to... Oh, I have this trim I want to add on here. This is the same trim that's on my hat. So let's make sure we get it on the right way. So I think this would look really cute there. Let me ink the edges. I'm going to add this piece of trim here on this side. Make sure I get the right side. Cut this here.
And this is nice um, room for like 4 by 6 photos or 5 by 7 You know, you can always put that in there. Okay. So, twist this around. I get the right end. Five, six. Can't see it this way. I think I put the wrong one on there. love it. What I want to do is, oh I have this piece here. Because I am going to use a bow bunny um, somewhere in time. So I'm going to add this other little piece of material here. Ribbon actually. So then I could put a big picture in here if I want. So let's add this on. Just a couple spots. It's cool, isn't it? I love that. It's like my last little piece of this ribbon. <laughs> kind of fabric this is just um, a piece of ribbon that went the, um, the um, scrapbook store I used to work at they used to I want to say it might be Maya Road May Road maybe I want to go up that high I used to like it I do it a lot for beach themes I thought it was really cool um, to put like for beachy That's looking good, right? What I want to do is I want to make a little, oh, what do you call it? Like a little corset and then put like a dress in here if we can. I'm trying to see what I have. What can I make a corset out of? coming out pretty cute pretty cute I wanted to use these Dawn what are these for where's Dawn I've had these like forever but I don't know what to do with them you mix them with water would that be something that we could do on here or not it's pretty cute isn't it this one is periwinkle this is a mica is it Mix it with water, right? Oh no, it's powder. Powder. Let me see what other colors I have. This teal blue would probably be nice in here. Someone gave this to me and I have no idea how to use it. Neon blue green with that. Looking for Dawn. Mica Pat is the what? What do I do with it, Dawn? Do you just rub it on? Like, do I rub it on here or do I mix it with water? You can make a paste with water. 
Okay, let's try it. And I have a little scrap so we could see how it works before how it looks before we um, actually do it. cooler and you mix it through with modeling paste and use it through stencil. Oh, we could have done that before. Well, how about if I rubbed it on here? It's kind of like a stencil. Well, let me try it. I don't even know how to work it, so let's just try it. All I need now is the air conditioning to come and blow it all over the place. <laughs> Like I just did. <laughs> oh, that's pretty, isn't it? Use a tiny, a tiny, a tiny tin bit. Oh, a tiny tip bit. I like the color though. So let's see what it looks like on. Like a blue green. Did I heat set it? Does it show a different color? You know, some of them show a color. Let's see. has a little not much sparkle let me bring it up closer oh I can't get it to focus what a pain come on oh. I'm gonna put some on here just to see what it's like and there goes my air just in the nick of time. <laughs> I'll just do it down in this corner right down here and see what it's like. Kind of blue on that black. There's a little bit of blue. It's not too bad. I just need a little bit more to go on this side, I think. Just gives it a little bit of color instead of it just being all white. I think I need a little more. Just a little bit more. If it doesn't blow away. <laughs> okay, if I can just sprinkle a little bit. And I'll put some pattern paper or something here just to give it a little edge. It's kind of like that aqua blue. It looks aqua blue and then like green a little bit. It's called um, Micah's. Linda, this is Lindy's Stamp Gang. This one's called Neptune Green Blue. It 
it's pretty it's it's hard for it's really light but it's pretty all right all right I'm gonna take this tape off what time is it I want to get a little dress form on here but what am I doing what am I doing Hold on. I'm looking for add another piece of black. I think. We could do maybe do like a zipper skirt. And of course we have to put some flowers on here too. Flat bling. Yeah, I could put some bling on there. I think we'll make the skirt out of this. I want something for the corset, and I thought I had brought up my little corset thing up here. I did. I did bring it up. This one kind of cut up. We have to stick something behind her, though. Let's see. Where's my? I like this too. This is from the button to put on here. I'd cut that part off though. But look how good that looks like that. Uh, Linda's question of how much money is in your craft room? Uh -huh, yeah. I take the fifth on that too, Barry. <laughs> Do you want me not to be able to buy anything ever again? <laughs> All right. So we need something to back this up. I'm looking for my bow bunny, um, my little six by six pads. There we go. Hi, Jess. Well, we could do this. Let's see what this looks like. Where's this piece? blue with the top hats hi mermaid oh you missed my hat off the show at the end we have 10 more minutes so let's do the corset and then put this together so I think that's what I'm going to do so let's do the blue we'll line her in blue Let's see. In blue, and then maybe make her skirt out of that. How's that? Let's see. So we'll do that first. It doesn't matter that she's cut off a little bit. I 
should have turned the air off. It's probably going to dry my glue before it gets a chance to even go down. So I just want to make sure I get almost all this down. So it doesn't get caught up. Because I'll be using this book a lot back and forth with all the different ATCs. I want to pick the lightest part of it. Mm -hmm. Needs a little bit more on this side. out <clears throat> yes Bobby this is a um, paper crafting show it's really live your fine liner I love it it's really nice I'll have to go over this with some glossy accents, I think. Just so it sticks out a little. Alright, so I think I'm done with the spraying. So I think we can take this. Oh, I'll leave it on for now. So we're going to put this on there like that. And then either make the skirt from there or from here. I really like the zipper. And just do a whole bunch of ruffles with the zipper. I think that's all we'll do. So what I'm going to do, I think, is put this on here so that we have something to back the, um, the zipper on. Probably do it long ways so I can trim it down. Yeah, the zipper. I like the zipper. And I haven't used this in a while, so well, I've never used this one, the brown one. So let's just oh my gosh, it's so cute! And then I'll have to die cut. This also has a little ruffle. I love this die. So it has a little ruffle, so I'll die cut that on there, and it has a little ruffle for the bottom. See, like that. So I'll die cut that. But I'm not going to do it now. Alright. So let's build the skirt. So we'll just cut it here. Who makes that dye? It is, um, do you still have this dye in the store, Barry? Cherry Lynn. It's a corset. It doesn't come with angel wings, but I guess um, it's like a steampunk series. They're steampunk series. Yeah, I love it too. My ATC card, no, my tag cards are like that. All right, so let's put this on here. So from here to here. Like that. 
and then we'll keep building. Although I should go from the bottom up. Let me put this one down. I'll have to do it that way first. Um, I'm going to put it down with this. <laughs> wings. I just got new wings from uh, Prima's. Did you see Prima's new wing die? We could put wings on her. I have wings. I'm not going to worry about going too close because I also still have the ruffle for that die to go on here. I really need my clips is what I need. I don't have any up here. And then we'll put another one underneath this one. Strings on this is bad. Let me get my things so that go all over my mat. another one yes it's a cherry Lynn die cherry Lynn and it's one a part of their steampunk series Probably should have put the black side down, but oh well. I want to get the ruffles in there too, so let's see if we can munch this up. So 
Let's see how far we're on our book. I think I'll go two more rows. have enough to I think just to do it's only a yard so it's very stringy this glue Yeah, well, I'm on the red group. The red group. Four, we'll do one more. Oh, isn't that cute? One more row. can make a little flower or something out of this left last little piece that's a great thing about this one with the ruffles oh my gosh it makes cute little roses <laughs> too cute for you <laughs> I'm not liking this glue for this are just too sticky. There. And it's tricky too because it's like curling. It wants a curl. I have to wash my hands. Oh, where's my wipes? Yeah, I have a headband on mine too, Dawn, and that, that's why I think you need those big clips. I have an extra clip if you need one. All 
All right, let's just finish this, and then I want to put the pages together in there so you could at least see that how it comes. And then I will post um, pictures too um, when I finish it. I want to put some paper pages in there. Yeah, I'll paint yours. Um, I'm gonna pay, have to paint mine like black. So. It's a little tricky because it wants to curl, but we can get it going. This one needs to come under there. Mine, yours is a black base? Okay, good. I'll paint yours black because I have to paint mine black. All right. So let's get rid of this. Move this stuff over. I have like three extra, so I'll bring them, and then whoever needs them um, can have them. I'm actually going to base this down, but I'm actually going to pop up the um, pop this part up. Where's my black pop dots? Oh, I have one of these clock things to put on there. Black pop tots. Okay, so like that, and then where are my pop dots? My pop dots. There they are. I'm actually going to put double. Oops. So there we are. Then I'll put the ATC and I'll probably put the year here. So let's take this off. And you see once we covered this, um, now our ribbon is not, doesn't have anything on there. And then I'll show you how to how I'm going to do the inside. There we go. All nice and new. <laughs> yeah, it looks cute, doesn't it? 
So now this is going to wrap around like this. So I can un I can tie this here like this. And then I want to add my pages. So where are my pages? There they are. So all I'm going to do is take some the seam binding. And if you wanted to do this with, which I probably will do a couple sheets with paper, and then you could just bind, you know, hook it in here. Uh, you like it? Oops, what did I just drop? Oh, my spatula. So now you're just going to stick all of these through here. So I would stick all these through here. And then they would come out through here, and then I could tie a nice big bow here. And then I'm going to close this up here. I can add another picture here. I'll probably put a pocket in here. And then on this sheet here, you could add some something, whatever else you want on here. Can you have it? <laughs> I don't know, Tom. Maybe you'll get another one. Since you did give me yours. But it was, it's... I think it's cute for holding the ATCs, and um, it's made out of the craft tech, so um, I don't have to worry about it ripping or anything. And then I can trade all my ATC cards in there. Isn't it pretty? It came out pretty cute, didn't it? I love the skirt. So I'll um, finish it up, and then I'll post some pictures. I'll put it on Facebook when I have it done. And then, of course, you could add something in the back. You have a hard time finding seam binding, really? I'll bring you some. I'll bring you what I have. I'll bring you some. So, and I love how the lace came out. The lace looks really pretty, and I love this, so. And then the blue, you can see that looks nice with the blue in there. Mm -hmm. You wish you made some ATCs? <laughs> oh my gosh, I love the little skirt. It came out really cute. So, all right, so let me show you my fascinator one more time before you guys go. For those of you who came in late, here. Oh, I'll bring you some, Jim Marie. Don't worry, I'll bring you some. Uh, let me just put this on autofocus so we can um, get a little bit better. There. So here you can see I have my name on here, and then of course, whoops. I have zebra. That's where my nails are zebra and it matches my vest. My vest is this color teal. <laughs> See, and then I have these are also Cherry Lynn. This is part of their steampunk series, their dyes. And then you can see here where I um, embossed the zebra print and then I went over it with, um, oh, she has ads. <laughs> I went over it with um, the Inca Gold, the Gilder's Paste. Yep. And then there I have some more metal flowers in here. And then these were the feathers that I got today at the um, flea market. And there's my zebra. You can see my zebra flower. Oops, this way. You can see my zebra flower. It's not heavy at all. It's made, the whole thing is made with craft text, as light as anything. It's really light. It's not heavy at all. And then um, then I put some little Prima steampunk gears in the back here. And then I have a little watch in here. And then this is my little bow. And then this was some ribbon that I got at the flea market today. There it is. That's the same ribbon we just put on. And then the um, lace. And then I put some bling on here and the gold flowers, gold metallic flowers. And I love these. These were um, recollections, I think. And then, see, I just did the bottom. I just did a circle. And then I could um, take this off, the um, clip, if I can get it off. 
and I can stick a headband. I can stick my headband through there. So, so that's my fascinator, my first one. This is the one I'm going to wear, Dar, to the hotel when we check in. And then I did the top. This is a Cherry Lynn dye. And then I rubbed it with um, Distress uh, paint. I should have done the um, Mega Flakes on there. So I hope you guys liked it um, and you enjoyed a little bit. A sneak peek of um, my steampunk stuff. And like I said, this would be great for, you could put four by six photos in here. Um, I love the craft text. I think it's craft text is awesome. <laughs> we need to fasten. <laughs> Dar says we need to swap fascinators. <laughs> yeah, you probably need to. Like, I'm going to put the headband and this clip because it's a, it just doesn't move. Like, I, it just isn't. <laughs> <laughs> I'll have to think about it, Dar. You might want the other one instead, remember? The zebra one, you wouldn't want that. You might want the other one. <laughs> All right, guys, thanks for joining me tonight. And then remember, next week, there really won't be a class, kind of. Maybe I'll just go over this, the pages, some of the pages, and then I will take you through my other costume. And uh, we probably, I don't think, we'll, I don't, what depends. We might not do a full class because I have to get up at 5.30. So we'll see. <laughs> oh my gosh, I have so many dyes, Jess. It's like too many. <laughs> too many. <laughs> Thank you very much, Amanda. Thank you. <laughs> All right, so you guys have any other questions for me? Anything I can answer? Thanks, Barry and Dawn for um, and Janie for modding for me. <laughs> you get the other one. <laughs> uh, thank you, Dahar. <laughs> That's true, Sophie. You cannot have too many dies. <laughs> You're welcome. My pleasure, Blissful. <laughs> yes, I'm showing the Suar Not all my Soari stuff, but... Um, you know, some of it, you'll get to see the hats anyway, for sure. And then you still won't see my shoes. And then I have a surprise to go down the catwalk. And so, I mean, it'll still be a sneak peek of some things, but you won't see everything. <laughs> oh, thank you, Annette. Oh, thanks. Thanks, Jenny. And I must have lost Heather along the way. <laughs> it's a little late for her. <laughs> Uh, thank you, Fairy Floss. Bye, Gwen. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you just started buying dyes. All right. I'm going to say good night. I'll close the, um, stop the recording. Have a good week. Bye. <laughs>